Hey guys, it's Rob J here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what a male winged ant and a female mated ant looks like. So, when you're out and about in the nuptial flight, which is happening right now, you will be able to tell what you've caught and what not to catch, per se. So, right now, I've, I was just taking out my wheelie bins and um, I just spotted a female and just seconds after I caught her I spotted the male in the grass so I captured them both I'm planning on keeping the female for myself then I'm going to do a little project with the starter kit zero but basically I'm just making the queen a quick home so we can get some clear glass on the test tube so we can see her clearly and then we're going to take a look at the winged male what to keep an eye out for there's a lot of ways of telling male and female but a lot of them require quite a lot of skill to identify so instead of going into every way of telling I'm going to do straight off the bat beginner which is which and what to generally a safe way of telling so this is a male and female so it's a winged male and it's a mated wingless female now these were just caught she's been running around looking for somewhere to uh, set up home okay and he has just landed after doing his mating flight so he might have mated uh, many times with different queens including this one they weren't found very far from each other at all but as she's already took her wings off, I doubt it. So let's focus on the male. Now there's a lot of ways of telling about the male. And they generally have small heads with long antenna and small thin bodies. Okay? Now, the biggest way of telling that I've found is the little sort of hook. We'll put it that way, it, the hook at the back sticking out towards downwards. Now we're going to take a nice slow shot of when he exposes it to us. So if we take, we'll just wait for the shot to continue through. Okay, we're coming into focus and there. You see right at the rear end, you see the end of his gaster finishes. And then you see that he's got this sort of hook piece sticking out, sort of bending down in a curve. See it right there, it's quite clear. That is quite literally a giveaway that it's a male. And we all know what that is. Um, and top and bottom of it is, if, they've, if they're short, skinny, got small heads, and they've got this hook, uh, I'm calling it a hook quote, um, then it's blatantly a male and they're also much smaller than females so now let's move on to my queen that I've just found quite literally minutes ago now to identify her as a queen not only have we got to look at a head a gaster nice and broad quite plump rear end it always gives a queen away but the m most definitive proof is the wing scars now we're going to take a nice slow look now if you look at the middle segment the ants are always made up of segments now these all have specific names but remember we're keeping this very simple so after the head you've got the thorax now, each side, do you see the scars? This is by far the best way to tell if you've got yourself a queen. This, the size of a gaster or the rear part, and uh, just her general behaviour. Now, if she's got wings, and but you think she's a queen, look at behaviour. Is she trying to get to a high point or take off? If so, it's more than likely she's not actually mated yet. 
if she's running around, going down nooks and crannies, looking around, generally, she would have been mated, and she just hasn't removed her wings yet. Or some queens don't even do that. So, this is the best shot I could get of the wing scars. You can see them quite clearly here. It's a fantastic shot. Um, I really wish you guys luck in catching. I'm always here in, in the comment section that some of you already caught plenty of queens at yourself. Keep up the good work guys and anybody wants to give it a try. Watch this video, identify them correctly and I wish you all success.